Hello everyone and welcome back to PBZ2 Eclipse. Last time we finished up playing some more secret levels. This time we're going to bounce back into doing some, uh, sorry, not secret levels, challenge levels. That's what I meant to say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, similar things, right? But anyway, this time we're going to be moving back into, into some epic quests. But first, before we do that, there's a new war party out. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. As always, there's a new war party. I'm pretty much just, just going to do like a new war party at the start of every episode. Alright, plant spore shrooms on all the marked tiles before the final wave. Protect the endangered plants. Do I have to plant them or do I have to make them? I wonder. Hmm. So there are bugs. Now, the important thing I remember about the bugs is that if you throw if you throw those spore shrooms at them, it just instantly drops or it just kills a zombie outright. So that's something to consider. We also have bulls. I kind of want to bring tall nut for that. I think putting Talna in front of the, the those two minecarts in the front, like, should be fine enough. I don't think I need a, a Talna in every column. Anyway, as for the actual damage, we probably want some slowdown, because there are Gargantuars. Well, I probably should bring Spore Shroom myself. Uh, to, just to, like, m make sure I don't, like, screw myself. Where is it? Where is Spore Shroom? Oh, it's not allowed. Lovely. So in that case, let's put tall nuts in front of or behind the mark tiles. Oh, sorry. Wait. No, hang on. Yeah, well, let's put them. We'll put them behind. Actually, I don't know the best way of doing this. Okay, so I can't actually plant spore shrooms myself. That's good to know. Actually, let me well let me bring the mini sunflower to you just for like super sun production. So we really need to control where zombies die, but I can't do I can't be too good at killing them. I think slow, just general slowdown like with the snow pea should be fine. And then we need to. Gosh, I only get one of these things too, which kind of sucks. You know what, I almost want to- here, let's do this. Let's bring Stunion. That way it'll be so much easier to make sure the thing dies in those spots. And then... And as soon as I get a Spore Shroom in that in like a certain row, I need to just like reinforce it. Um, with some heavy damage. I think just Peapod should be fine. Hmm... Is that going to be good enough? Let's bring a Hurricane too, just for good measure about controlling these zombies. Yeah, so how about I start putting sunflowers here? There's a lot of levels by a uh, lock recently, ha aren't there? I guess this is just lock locks week. Oh, I didn't mean to put that there. Well, I guess it, do it doesn't really matter where I put the mini sunflowers. How strong is this guy? Okay, I'm gonna move this guy. Because I'm thinking I can maybe get an easy kill when he's on tiles next. Okay, now. Well, the problem is that this guy's just gonna eat it. Like, okay, never mind. We got it all as well. All right, we need to start damaging these guys. There's too many to deal with. I'm gonna put a pea pod there. Hopefully, that's not too strong. Oh, I should really be doing. Oh, dang it! That was a bit. Oh, I can't put on the tiles. Shoot. Okay, I, I need to put my uh, sunflowers in the other row then. Wasn't gonna let that bug get through. Okay, so this bottom row is like totally fine. So let's just reinforce it. Oh, yeah. oh let me do this for this guy. I forgot he was still here. Okay, so now this row is top row is fine. So we can really reinforce it. 
I'll just put a snow pea there for now. I'll mess with the plants later. Okay, I'm gonna put a Tolna in that minecart. Let's stop this bowl. I'm just, I'm just gonna let that bull get through. Oh, let me adjust for this guy here. Okay, hopefully that will get the cone head dead. And that should be one more spore shroom. Okay, that row is secure, so we'll beef it up. Yeah, let's move this out of the way. Move this guy up. Hopefully the Spore Shroom gets a kill on one of these two. Come on, Spore Shroom. Dang it, the pea pie might be too strong. Come on, Spore Shroom, get the kill. Nice, 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 perfect. Okay, we're good. So now we don't... We just gotta make sure the uh, Spore Shrooms never get touched. Let's just stun the Gargantua for right now. Make sure this bull gets stunned. I'm gonna blow these guys back. Blow those guys back again. I really need to get a snow pee in that row. The snow peas in every row will feel a lot more safe. Oh, well, let's stun this bull. Okay, there's a lot going on in this row. Let's just clear out clear out all those bugs. Okay, this seems like it's going fairly well. I just need, I really need to beef up the middle row though. The snow pea would help a lot. Okay, let's get a snow pea for this row. Alright, middle row should now be con controlled, relatively speaking. And we just need a snow pee for the second row now. Oh, I need a, I need an actual like pea pod here. Actually, I'm gonna dig up this sunflower because I don't want it getting eaten when an imp lands on top of it. Also, I really should just put a small nut up here. Yeah, I, think, I would say everything is pretty well under control. I'm gonna fast forward. Just on this Gargantua. on the bottom row because there's I don't have a Tana in that row. But let's beef up the ones with the Guardian Chars in it. You install this Guardian Char pretty easily just using the mini sunflowers and the regular sunflower. Oh I can at least move the spore shroom to help out. There we go, that was a nice and easy war party. I feel like I kind of got lucky um, with the last Spore Shroom I needed there, like, because the Peapod, I think, was doing much more damage than the Spore Shroom. The fact that it got that kill on that guy. I mean, it took a really a big load off my uh, my chest there, knowing that I completed the uh, mission that early on in the level. But yeah, let's go collect our rewards. Bum, oh, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. That's really good.
Oh, I got pretty much like the best rewards all around. I I think so. That was a decent amount of everything. Still don't know. Still don't really know what I'm gonna do with my mints. At some point, I'm gonna have to acquire the mini plants. I don't know if I should spend my mints on that or not, or if I should just uh, use uh, coins to unlock them or gems. Uh, anyway, uh, enough talk about the war party. Let's move back into the epic quests. Uh, which one should I do today? Uh, let's do the Citron. Yeah, this, so this is probably going to be a Citron-oriented uh, epic quest. Oh, it's modern day. We will need to learn more about our plants. That will help us in the long run when we are up against the zombies. This time it is all about Citron. So we're taking yet he packs quite a punch. Surely he'll be a great guy to bond with. Let's do this. Survive with the given plants. All seed packets recharge instantly. Oh, that's cool. No imitator allowed. Oh, I guess it's not going to matter. I can't pick my plants. Oh, Blooming Heart. I have not used Blooming Heart, like, ever. I think... Here's the thing. I don't know a whole lot about Blooming Heart, but I'm pretty sure um, it, like, tags a zombie. And then, like, the more zombies you have tagged at once, the more damage it does. I'm not entirely sure about that. I hardly ever use it, so yeah, we definitely need a Citron to deal with the old Brickhead here. In fact, let's just stun you. Delay the wave. It's so weird using tier 1 Sunflowers. I almost never do this. I really should be putting some of these out. Let's stun this guy. A little wall right there. This is really nice having like the instant recharging, um, the instant recharging seed packets. Like it's, it's so tempting just to put out millions of sunflowers, right? <laughs> what, like, should I be doing that? I have no idea. I, I've got to get a Citron out at some point if I want to live. So you two. Honestly, I feel like Blooming Heart's gonna have this covered. <laughs> Let's stun this chicken. Oh, I was trying to stun the chicken guy. It didn't work out. Yeah, super. Oh, the super bird took um, hold of the. Um... What am I trying to say? A super bird took the shot um, that the Citron fired, which is not very good. <laughs> I feel like I should just, at this point, put the tall nuts further up. Oh, too close there, bub. I like how the uh, coral cage zombies are just so powerful that even um, a citron blast doesn't like hurt them that much at all. Okay, I need to rebuild here. I think I need more blooming hearts in this row. Like, I think two in every row probably should be fine, and then we can do the rest of the citrons. Well, I say that, and the top row is like totally exposed here. I can't really tell how much damage the Blooming Heart does, because I have no idea how it works, <laughs> after all. Probably should be using the Stunion more, like when there's like a large group here eating. I guess I'll start putting Tall Nuts like as far up as I possibly can.
Like, is this enough blooming hearts? I feel like this is enough blooming hearts. We certainly have enough citrons out. Oh, that, that much is certain. So we'll send this group here. The chickens really make quick work of the tall nets. Oh, we should put more sunflowers out. Cause like, right, I guess ideally, well, I think I really only need blooming hearts to deal with the chickens. Don't really need them much for, need them for like pretty much anything else. So I'll dig you up, we'll put another sunflower down. I guess I'll settle for four. No, we'll just do three three at a minimum. You know, yeah, well, three at a minimum in every row, so we're basically good. Slowly start replacing the sunflowers. More citrons. Is this the final wave? Yeah, it looks like it. At this point, like, stunning is pretty valuable for just being able to stall like a whole group of zombies. Yeah, this is this is insanity. All right, very nice. Citron and Bloom and Hot. I really need to read up on how the Blooming Heart works, because to me it doesn't seem like it's doing that much damage, but then again, it's probably one of those plants you just want to spam a whole lot of to get value out of. Alright, there, there we go, that's the first level in Citron. I, I assume that's how you say the name of this epic quest, Citron, or Kitron, or, or maybe it's just Citron. Ooh, an, an okay Corral level, we haven't had this in like, ever. <laughs> Let's see, I guess we'll just put this in the back. Oh, this is- oh, this is here too. Uh. Dang, I didn't- okay. In, on the off chance that they give me a tier 3, I'm gonna save this one in the back for tier 3. Let's put this one here. And what, hang on, I think the buckhead is coming at the bottom, right? Yeah, because we probably should have the tier 2 deal with the buckhead. And this guy can deal with the cone heads. I really hope I don't have to remember uh, which, which Citron is which tier every time. This is tier 1 and this is tier 2. And now I just have a Stunion. So we definitely need to use this against this guy. Okay, let's put... Let's put the one that's closer to that guy in the back, because I have more time to react and get this guy. Oh, I have to put it down first, I guess, for it to work. Well, that should work, right? That just seems like a waste of a little level. Ooh, iceberg lettuce. Can I save that? I wonder if I can save that. Like maybe my citrons are powerful enough to deal with this guy. Like let me fire a shot off into that. Like I think I want to try and save this. I'm gonna fire the strong one off into that guy and then the, the weaker one will just deal with the cone heads. I'm gonna put, so I'll put this in the front. And then I'll move this whenever necessary. See, this guy's like almost already dead. Like he just needs like one more shot. I don't need to use this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're done. Cool, we got a plant saved for later. This is a tier, another tier two. 
Um, hang on, let me look at that again. Okay, so, oh, okay. So yeah, this is why I saved it, because now I have to use this to freeze the chicken guy, so we'll push this up. Uh, the stronger one can deal with that, and... Yeah, we'll just put the tier 2, uh, down here to help with the bucket head. I don't think it will be necessary, though. In fact, let me just get this guy ready for the chicken. Because the thing that's all I really need him for. Just wait, wait for him to get frozen. Nice. Alright, seems like we're halfway through the level. And of course, you gotta wait for this guy to just fall over and die. Squash. I don't need no squash for this. I'm thinking of putting the squash in this, like, minecart at the bottom here. And then quickly have one guy take care of it. And we need, we need someone on the middle rows all the time. Yeah, I don't need the squash. I think this is fairly doable without it. So we'll put the squash in this minecart here. And I'll move this guy up. And this one down. Okay, let's move these back down. Sweet potato. How do I deal with Mr. Chicken? If a chicken wrangler dies to a squash, does he release his chickens? I, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna vote that it probably doesn't, because otherwise, how would I do this? So I guess I'll just put the squash there. We'll have tier twos on each of these guys here. Oh wait, you know what? I probably have to squash all the chickens, actually. So this guy needs to die. So let's put one... Let's put the tier 1 guy against that one. And then I'll just put a sweet potato in this my card here. Yeah, I think that should work. That did not work at all. What were you supposed to do there? What? What? I feel like I had to have had the right idea. I don't know, maybe I'll be saved? I mean, help- oh, no, there's more than one guy there. Hmm, alright, I think I might cut. To get, and I'll meet you guys back at the spot. I think what I have to do... I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'll cut here, and I'll meet you guys back to where I was. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I got the sweet potato here, and I think what I messed up on is that I'm, I should kill this guy a lot earlier. And have the sweet potato, like, get the chickens together, you know, and then move the squash into the correct row. I think that's what you're meant to do. Oh, by the way, so the way I've arranged my citrons this time is now the tier 1 is the closest up, up front. This is That's this one here. I guess I'll have him hit that guy. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna put Sweet Potato, like, kind of, yeah, probably just in this front, or this middle minecart here. And then I'll move the, this guy in the correct row. Just wait for all those chickens to pile up. There we go. So I lost my, uh, Sweet Potato, but I think I can live without it. Alright, so this is new territory for me, so we got, hang on. So we got a Gargantuar. Okay, so I need to have something ready for an imp. How am I gonna... I need, a, like, a guy on standby. Okay, so let's let's use that guy to take out that bucket head. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna save... Actually, no, this guy should be enough to deal with the bucket head. We'll blast this guy. Um, and I'm gonna save this middle citron for, uh... Or, or this, the rearmost... The, ba the backmost citron um, to deal with the imp when it comes out. 
Because here's the thing, when we have minecarts like this, we can like infinitely stun a Gargantuar pretty easily. Although I'm going to slow down though, just to make sure I don't mess up. Oh yeah, this guy needs to fire at the Buckhead again. So I see I'm not going to move this guy back until I know I need to. Okay, this guy can move. There we go, infinite stalling. There we go, okay, the imp didn't even come out. What? I got an EMP here and uh... What am I supposed to... How am I supposed to like begin the wave? Do I just put it way up front here? What? How does this work? Okay, well I feel like I did something wrong here. I probably should actually let's blast a middle row guy. Okay, we got one got rid of one. Yeah, we probably just need to focus fire one guy at a time. I don't think we need this walnut. Oh we maybe we will. We gotta keep him alive though to stall gargantuar nonsense. Or maybe that's what you're just meant to do. Like wait until they wait until like they're right in front of the barrier. I don't know. Oh, didn't mean to do that. It's actually yeah. Let's move these guys. Oh shoot! No, they hit the barrier. No. This this last guy better charge up a time. There we go. <sighs> I'm really hoping I don't need my I don't need a fresh um tall enough to deal with these guys. Alright, I don't think I need to use this iceberg lettuce for these guys. I think we'll make do. In fact I think the tier one and a tier two can take out one guy and then we'll smack this guy. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. So let me just put this in the minecart here. Yeah, that's enough. So a tier one and a tier two. Can hit a guy. Yeah, you definitely didn't need an iceberg le iceberg lettuce for that one. All right, we got studying. All right, so oh, uh oh. Oh wait, no, I have the okay. I was gonna say like, oh no, I I only have one sunny, but there's two chicken wranglers and no uh, a, sw a sweet potato to get them together. But no, I gotta use the iceberg lettuce here, obviously. So let's have the the tier one shoot one guy, and we'll just put the sunny in there. Let's have a tier two kill buckhead, kill conehead here, and then we'll wait for this guy to get frozen, and then we'll blast him. I think that's the plan. This wave wasn't so hard. Let's wait for this guy to move up and get frozen. Nice. All right, we got one more Citron. Hang on, let me analyze this here. There's a shield guy who... How, how do I, what's the best way of dealing with shield guy? There's nothing in the- wait, is there something- no, the Gargantuar is in the second row. The Buckhead, okay. So I think we probably should just deal with the Buckhead ASAP. Let's have this guy on standby. Take care of that. Actually, I don't know if I, if I should just- how, what? I don't know how, how to handle this. Maybe I should use the new Citron that I'm getting right now. And then I can blast- Make sure the shield guy dies, like, ASAP. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's put this here. Okay, that was pretty much overkill.
Okay, gotta focus on stopping this guy. Oh, I think we pretty much already won. Oh, I didn't prepare for an imp this time. Don't eat that. Okay, we got it. Yeah, I totally forgot about preparing for an imp. It's a good thing my, one of my citrons was like ready to fire in that moment, though. That was a nice little, uh, okay corral level. I don't think I've seen one of those yet. I could be wrong, though. But yeah, guys, that's where I'm going to call the episode here for today. All around, pretty good levels. But yeah, next time we'll be continuing on through this uh, Citron Epic Quest. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!